that. So for today's tutorial, we'll be on the work or job card. So many of you are confused why some people use the fox. Other books say that it's the anchor. Other tradition says that it's the bear. So I'm going to explain it to you uh, in, in a clear way, I hope. <laughs> and so you get a better understanding so when you understand it then no more question will arise and you will not second guess yourself in a reading this is uh, i believe the most uh, important when you're doing a reading for someone you need to know precisely what you're talking about okay if you second guess yourself in a reading that is not good you need to be specific and if you know me you know that my readings are detailed. I like little details, things that only the client would know, okay? Specific, you know, that not to turn them into a believer, but just, you know, to uh, uplift them in a place of uncertainty to a place of being guided and knowing where they, they are going. So we start with the first card. These are my beautiful um, Mon Petit Le Normand which can meet a, a big success with many uh, Lenormand practitioners. So the first one is the fox, okay? So the fox is known as the work card, particularly in the French tradition, because the nine of clubs in cartomancy speaks about work, okay? When you will be doing a, a playing card reading, when you are using a, 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 a PK game, a 32 card deck, the nine of clubs symbolizes your your work. Actually, in the normal, it symbolizes work, but more in um, a state of entrepreneurship. Okay, so someone who doesn't get a fixed pay, it can be uh, a commercial, it can be you know someone that work on commissions, uh, it can be also like a psychic person, particularly if the fox is combined with the moon, showing the intuitive side of the person. The fox is actually a part-time job. It's not the job that you're doing all day long, or it's not the job that you have a fixed salary. You don't get a, a fixed paycheck each month with this job. It's more of uh, part-time. Then we have the anchor. So the anchor is actually uh, the opposite of the fox. It is work. It is full-time work. It is also sometimes hard work because we have the, uh, the weight of the anchor. And uh, it is a job which is stable. You do it, you know, as long as you want to. Uh, it can be an office job or working, you know, for a paycheck. You have a fixed paycheck each month there is no commission there is no you know bonuses you know what you get each month when you get your salary okay so and it's a, a long-term job okay it's not like you will be working for one or two days or one or two months uh the fox can also show you know working on contract you work with for someone for like uh, six months or a year not more than a year it can be the fox but then when it's long term it's like you know three years contract or um working for a long time for the same job then the anchor represent your job okay so these two really you know one is part-time and one is full-time then you have the bear okay so the bear is more of a of a job card but a job card with responsibility uh, if you are someone working, you know, uh, at the small, a small job, this can be your uh, your boss. You know, we see the the bear as big and bold, okay, and so it takes a big uh, posture here. So it can be a boss, it can be a director, it can be a manager. For instance, if you are working as a chief or a boss. The bear will represent your job card. You will not pay attention to, even if you are getting commission or you, you have a fixed salary, you will not, you know, mix with the fox or the anchor. This is another level of job. Okay. It's the seven level of, you know, uh, it's not, you know, working, uh, as a small employee. 
It's really having a team. It's really, you know, directing people. And the bear can be, you know, a banker because the 10 of clubs in cartomancy is money. It's the money card. So this is why sometimes the bear can be considered as a large sum of money as well. Okay. So then the last one, we have only four. I use only four cards in my Lenormand job card. Maybe people use more, but these are the four cards I stick to. I have always used them and, you know, I don't change. They, they kind of, you know, um, get modified over the time because there is, I add more to it. But the basic meaning is the same. Remember, for successful or normal reading, you must stick to what you believe is good for you and what are the meaning that you give it. You know, you can't decide today to have the the bear as a mother and then tomorrow it will be the father. It should be decided, you know, before the reading and when you are starting your apprenticeship. So the tower here now is about hierarchy. The tower is corporation. It's, you know, the another level of job. The position is bigger than the bear, okay? So it's really being a um, CEO or, you know, big boss, really directing a big company or a, a government department. It's really a big thing, okay? If you are working in that corporate job or banking also can be uh, attributed to the tower. So you will use the tower for your job card. So I hope that I have brought some clarification to your uh, job card meaning in Lenormo. And if you want more information, you can check other YouTube videos that I have. And I look forward to your comments and please share it with people who are learning the Lenormo, maybe meeting some challenges so they can get um, a clear understanding of what the, the techniques and the meaning are. So have a good week and talk to you soon.